All right, Leo, welcome in. Hope you're doing great today. This is your reading for mid-June. Let's see what's happening. Let's jump right in. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, Leo. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you right now. Trust. Oh, and look at this. Full moon. Boundaries. Okay. Divinity. Your sovereign self. Guides. Shift. Wow. Leo, some of you are really opening up to guidance and starting to trust yourselves, starting to see um, and get a feeling of being led or being guided into a big shift that you're making. And you absolutely are. You're absolutely, um, I don't know if you have been always knowing that, but there's something about this full moon in Capricorn that's coming up one degree. Uh, it's on the 21st, I believe. So we're in that solstice energy. And there's something here about putting up a boundary that's going to be important or releasing some kind of expectation around a boundary or releasing some kind of some kind of um, rigid structure because it's Capricorn, right? So we're releasing something that's too rigid. We've created something that's too rigid. We're releasing it and we're learning to trust. Like the rules were good or they had... Um, you know, everybody agreed upon the rules. The rules don't work anymore. And so I'm releasing them. I, I need to get more flexible or I need to think about a different set of rules. Your guides are, your guides are um, leading you to make this shift. All right, your guides are leading you to make this shift. So let's see one more, please, what's going on with Leo. All right. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Here's your card. One of your cards anyway. The Sun. King of Cups. And Empress. Okay. Eight of Wands. Leo, I feel like some of you are in a relationship where you feel like you're doing all the work and getting none of the fun. Okay? Like, it's a fun-free life. And that just can't be for Leo. <laughs> it just can't be. Uh, if you are connected with somebody and they're not giving you any, it, it's not fun. Like, they're, it's, it's, too, it's too much about work. It's too much about heavy lifting. It's too much. There's just no fun to it. And... I almost feel like there's a sense of some kind of communication. They might be talking, you might be talking with somebody else, um, or there's some kind of whispering coming in from your guides that says, hey, you know, why are you doing everything for this connection? Why are you the one who's always doing the, you know, you're the one who's always fetching and carrying. You're the one who's always, you know, putting yourself out to see this person. They're not doing any of that. All right, they're not doing any of that. Uh, Hanged Man, the Star, Page of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a little bit cold. Hmm. Someone who's um, in some kind of healing or, uh, or recovery of some kind. Let's see, Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, uh, Temperance, Death, Five of Cups, Magician. I feel like your manifest, I, I feel like your expectation is, this is like literally the Three of Wands is expectation, is that this is going to be something long term. And I feel like this person is too cool, too cold about this situation. I also feel like you could be um, in a very positive and powerful healing cycle yourself. And focusing on yourself is what's necessary here. 
This Page of Swords makes me feel like, what's this communication? Because I am seeing an ending to a situation that isn't um, what you expect it to be. I don't know if this is a this is a um, this might just be a dating scenario. It feels really uh, not committed to me. Something like that, or this could be uh, some kind of relationship that you're putting in all the effort. If you stopped, what would happen? What do you think would happen? If you stopped giving, over giving, if you stopped taking the breadcrumbs, if you stopped, what would happen? And the message here, the page of swords, five of wands, eight of swords. Oh my goodness. Four of swords. There's very healing energy here. King of wands. Yeah. I just feel like there's somebody else for you. I really do, Leo. I feel like you might be paying attention to somebody who's not giving you the time of day. And it really is time to turn your attention. There's something about, okay, so I, it's also um, possible that this person is what I call a plutonic partner. Now, a lot of people talk about karmic partners. And I feel like karmic partners, that karmic thing gets a bad name. Like, uh, you know, twin flames have karma and soulmates have karma and all kinds of stuff. But plutonic is an astrology term. It does uh, call into question the transformational way this person is in your life. They may not feel as much as you do. It may be an out of balance relationship, okay? You see how she's looking? Look at her, the look on her face. I'm always like, this is the Queen of Cups in this deck. The Queen of Cups is looking at that, that Six of Pentacles like, damn it, this is my cup, you'll take it. And this person is giving um, their attention to other people. So there's something about that. And I just feel like this is, you feel like the, you just need to put in more time, need to put in more energy. There's zero fun in this. It's a fun free life. And I do feel like you're getting the hint here that your expectations uh, for long term, if you're manifesting something long term, I feel like that's the king of wands. Okay, I feel like that's a different person. It could be a Sag, right? I see Sag energy. I see Scorpio energy. I see Gemini energy. I also see Aquarius. Here's your Leo energy there. Um, I also don't feel like this person is going to stick around very much longer because if the if the message from them is that they are shifting that they are moving on or they're like doing some kind of work on themselves it's focusing all their energy to do some work on themselves on themselves um then they take some kind of action but i do feel like there is an ending here to something and you might regret it if you put too much more time and effort into it Okay, I don't feel like that's really what's being asked of you. Um, what is Archangel Michael asking of you right now? Your guides, what are they leading you toward? Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Two of Wands. They're leading you toward a new decision. So I feel like you might be a, a resistant. Resisting your guides because the thing that they're leading you toward is to learn something new and to release, sort of let this, let this situation go, right? It's, um, I don't feel like that's changing. I feel like this person may have another partner. This could be a divine feminine, but not your, or sorry, divine masculine, but not your divine masculine. Um, and so you may be feeling the energy of this person having some kind of special Mm, I don't know what the karmic connection is between you, but there is something here. There's a reason you're here. All right. What is the reason that you're in this connection? Some kind of addiction. That's, that is also Capricorn energy. Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. Uh, you need to put you first. I feel like this this might be about 
Um, I'm going to put enough time and energy. I'm going to get this person to love me. They're going to treat me this way, whatever. And it's like not, they're not there. That's not who they are or something like that. And the lesson here for you, the, the reason this person is in your life is to help you heal um, your own connection to yourself. It's time to put you you first. Yep. Because I do feel like you have this king of wands. You have, and this, you know, this is also Leo energy, but I feel like um, you have this capability of having something really happy and joyful if you don't waste too much time with this. Okay? If you don't waste too much time with this. Um, let's see. Have you wasted a lot of time already? 10 years? Oh, geez. Okay. Um, my goodness, really? Okay, so by next spring, we're going to be into really changing, changing things over here. And part of this, also choosing this person, there's something they're mirroring back to you. Something about, something about them that needs healing also needs healing in you. All right, and um, I'll just get back, I'll just tie up the bow about the Plutonic uh, relationships. Now, Plutonic relationships are when somebody has a lot of Pluto energy aspecting your sun, your moon, and other things in astrology. But its energetic signature is that this person is a very powerful teacher for you. Uh, they don't really learn much from this connection. This is not about them learning anything. They're just mirroring some stuff back to you. They don't even know they're doing it. And you're the one who is the one to learn the lesson. Um, there's something about addiction in this connection. Whatever that is, who's ever addicted, right? We can be addicted to a lot of things. We can be addicted to our work. We can be addicted to Red Vines licorice. We can be addicted to, um, uh, pu you know, putting in the time and effort so that something, you know, like I'm not letting go, look at me, I'm, I'm gonna keep pushing and keep making this work and make it work, make it work, make it work. Um, that's not healing to your heart, okay? That's not what this person's lesson to you is, all right? It's not what this person's lesson to you is. This could even be a family member, right? Strength, this is about courage and vulnerability being strong enough to walk away from something when and just say, you know what? I've learned the lesson. I'm walking away. Just like this says, eight of cups, tower, seven of swords, fool. Okay. Um, I do, you know, I am getting a whiff of another person, maybe a twin flame for this person. And there's definitely a, a, a different energy that, there's smooth, there's smoothness between those two people, or there's something, there's a lot of communication. Yeah, that's what it is. A lot of communication between those two people. Whereas yours you, with you, it feels very difficult. And, um, I just feel like you're going to catch them in a lie or something. I feel like you're going to catch them in a lie. So why is this 10 of pentacles here? Knight of wands, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. This person has an, an allergy to commitment. Okay, so I don't know if it was really good sex or really good something when you first started dating this person and that's kind of gotten you hooked. Um, there's something that is satisfying to you about staying with this person, but I do feel like they have, they are terrible at commitment. Okay. And you have something really awesome coming down the road. So it might be time to like cut your losses here, listen to your guides, learn the lesson and move on. So let's go deeper into this reading. Um, I will look at what you don't see coming. I will get some uh, information about the next 30 days and we'll get some guidance for you from those guides. Okay. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue on Leo, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.